another way to use leftovers for lunch. I have been buying these stir fry veggie kits and you can read through the sauce ingredients, see if they work for you and use the sauce packet or not. But this is a very affordable way to get a lot of non-starchy carbs to be your fiber base for your leftovers for lunch. And then I go with my leftovers and just put them on top. So I have a little bit of leftover Thai chicken curry here. I'm gonna heat this up and put it on the top. So I've got my non-starchy carb fiber base. I've got my protein. Now I need some starchy carbs and some healthy fats. So I just think what kind of um, carbs and fats would go with this. And what jumps out at me is that brown rice is good with Asian flavors and this is kind of an Asian flavor dish. So I have some in the fridge that I prepped earlier in the week. I could use a whole cup and get about my 70 carbs I need for this meal. I could do half a cup and get about 40 carbs, which is what I'm gonna do, because later today I wanna work in a snack. So if I wanna have a snack, I need to shave off some of my meal by meal goals for the uh, each macro. So I'm gonna get carbs from the rice, fiber from all the stir fry veggies, protein from the chicken. Fats are gonna come from the dressing I'm gonna use, which is a coconut milk based dressing, and that's a healthy fat. And it came with this bag of stir fry mix. So that will make this a macro balance break, or excuse me, leftovers for lunch meal. Remember I mentioned that snack later, it's going to want to have fat, protein, and carbs too to be a good snack that makes me feel well. So it's gonna be roasted edamame, which I'll show you the wasabi flavor that I'll be using and it's gonna be some dried fruit. Roasted edamame is gonna give me protein and healthy fats. Knocked out two macros right there. And then dried fruit like these dried mangoes, and I also have dates here, all unsweetened. It's pretty important, and apricots. I love getting those at Costco. Super affordable way to get them in organic. Haven't been in a while though. I'm gonna go with these mangoes and just the one half cup serving of these would give me 35 carbs. So, boom, like a lot of carbs in a small space and they don't make you feel too full. So that's gonna be my snack in a little bit. Carbs, proteins, and fats in one snack. All right, just keep checking the playlist if you need more ideas for go-to breakfast meals and leftovers for lunch and snacks and dinners.